first case is 18. The old male have referred to me because of abnormal newborn screen. The TSH was 120. Recheck is more than 100, and FT4 is significantly low. So considered as a case of primary congenital hypothyroidism. Second case, full-term male infant, born to 25-year-old mother, has been admitted to the NICU because of poor feeding and hypoglycemia. They consulted me. I found that on examination there is micropenis, cortisol, growth hormone, insulin is low, TSH is normal, and a neuro image, there is a pituitary and optic asthma hypoplasia, but the newborn screen is normal. Recheck T4 and free T4, they're significantly low, so considered as a case of secondary congenital hypothyroidism. The physiology of thyroid function in term and preterm infants during delivery because of low temperature in the room temperature, in the room uh, of delivery, there is TH secretion increase. TSH secretion is an increase to cope with this low temperature in the delivery room. The TH secretion is called TSH surge. It might reach to 60 to 80 in the first half an hour and return within 24 hours to 20 and return to normal within five to seven days. On the other hand, the premature baby, the TSH surge is also high, but not significant or rising as in full-term baby. The secretion of TSH in the preterm baby depends on the gestational age, body weight, and severity of illness. Let us go through when, why, how. This is the three key questions. When. Nowadays, we have not seen full blown picture of congenital hypothyroidism like this case as a prolonged jaundice, coarse facies, puffy eyelids, dry skin, and bilical hernia, depressed nasal bridge, big tongue. We are not willing to see this patient. This is severe congenital, untreated congenital hypothyroidism after eight weeks of age. Majority of cases in delivery, those case of congenital hypothyroidism are normal or asymptomatic because of maternal T4 provider. So because of most of asymptomatic at, at birth and majority of cases are sporadic, so a neonatal screen is highly recommended. A neonatal screen established in, in, big, in, the eight, in, the, in the late of 17th and the beginning of 18th there are several guidelines and programs in the global and U.S., but latest compound guideline, ASPE consensus guideline or formulated guideline, practical guideline, and evidence-based guideline with the GRACE system. The procedure that heal brick sample dried blood spot on the filter paper, the best window 48 to 72 hours and usually use TSH with backup of T4 or T4 with backup of TSH and the most accurate one is TSH and T4 but unfortunately it incurs cost. The purpose of a newborn screening for hypothyroidism is the early detection of a primary hypothyroidism which is the which is not if it is not treated or promptly result in mental retardation. The action that TSH in the screening test, TSH, <coughs> if it is more than 40, should be treated. If it is less than 20, should be not treated. And if it is between 20 to 40, this is, should be set for Venus test, which is the result which is coming the next day. So if the result more than 20, should be treated. If it is between 6 to 20, this is a gray zone, should be discussed with the family and this is, might be transient hypothyroidism. And if you are not guaranteed that the patient return back should be start treatment of medicine. And if the patient is Lancet 6, it should be not treated. <clears throat> so
So let us go, what is the causes of congenital hypothyroidism? 75% of congenital hypothyroidism, it is due to thyroid dysgenesis, either aplesia, hypoplesia, or ectopia. Congenital hypothyroidism might be associated with the congenital anomaly, especially, uh, especially that cardiac problem, hearing problem, or dysmorphic facies. 10% it is due to thyroid dyshormonogenesis, which is autosomal recessive associated with goiter, and 5% central congenital hypothyroidism or secondary hypothyroidism, usually associated with septo-optic dysplasia or midline defect. 10% of the patients are transient hypothyroidism. This is the most common is iodine deficiency or maternal antithyroid drugs transplacental or antibodies transplacental to the baby from the mother. There are clinical clues for diagnosis of central hypothyroidism. Micro penis, cleft lip, cleft palate, nystagmus, hypoglycemia, prolonged indirect hyperbilirubinemia, low cortisol level, deficiency of growth hormone, prolactin, and gonadotropin, and central diabetes in, in cividus, and also associated with neuroimaging uh, uh, abnormalities. How assessed and treated of congenital hypothyroidism? Nuclear scan is important not only for anatomical, but also for physiological. Ultrasound detect the presence or absence of thyroid gland. To assess the severity of, con of fetal hypothyroidism should be seen the baby for knee x-ray. If the absence of the upper, femur, upper tibia and lower femoral epiphysis, it means that severe intrauterine hypothyroidism. Should be assessed the baby with congenital hypothyroidism if he has TSH high, should be assessed for the hearing and cardiac and if there is any dysmorphic facies, which is 5% of them might be associated with. Usually in the central, if suspected central hypothyroidism should be sent for the cortisol. Why? Because if you are start medicine with thyroxine and there is defect in the cortisol, so might get a dysonic crisis which is fatal. The action of nuclear scan, this is detect either no uptake should be sent for ultrasound to see if the thyroid is available or not available. If it is not available, it is dysgenesis. If it is available, this is transient congenital hypothyroidism. This is usually associated with sodium iodide supporter, transporter uh, defect or thyroid receptor blocking agent or antithyroid drugs from the mother and ectopia intake or increase uptake usually this is occurs in this hormonogenesis the goal of our treatment for congenital hypothyroidism is try as is, should be started as soon as possible sooner is better so normalization of thyroid gland, if it is within two weeks or three weeks, this get normal developmental mentally and developmental physically. Should be maintained T4 in the upper half of normal range. It's about 10 to 15 micrograms for the first two years. And TSH within normal range is about 3 ml unit per liter. And nowadays, subclinical hypothyroidism should be treated in the first three years. The dose of thyroxine, 10 to 15 microgram per kg per day. Full-term baby should be started with 50 microgram, and pre-term baby should be started with 37.7. If you found that T4 less than 5 should be started with high dose. Why? Because if you are started for 50 microgram, the T4 normalization will one week. If it's started with low, does the normalization of T4 it's occur for weeks. So the impact of high dose of thyroxine on IQ is important. If you are started with 10 microgram or started with 7 microgram, the IQ, if it starts with 10 microgram, the IQ is 120. 
about 120, and we started the 7 microgram DIQ within 105. So there is a big difference between 120 and 105. The prognosis, you know, if you are started soon or early within first three weeks, the prognosis is excellent. So if you are started in the first three weeks, the developmental, mentally and physically is good. So if you are started before three months, the IQ is 89. But if you are started after seven months, the IQ becomes 54. The treatment should be continued for three years because three years that development of brain is needed three years and don't be challenged for stopping of medicine before three years, even the child become normal. Monitoring should be started every two weeks until the TSH return to normal and then every one month up to six months and then every two months. There is a dramatic response for using of thyroxine uh, in a case of congenital hypothyroidism. This is before and this is after. The key message for my talk <clears throat> that in neonatal screen for early identification is very important as thyroid-dependent brain development is completed by three years of age. When you assess the value of the thyroid function in pediatric age group should be interpreted based on age reference value. Blood sample for the lab evaluation collected at least four hours after last thyroxine. The treatments should be tablet crushed with water or breast milk. And based on a review of literature, nowadays that T4 replacement is recommended in subclinical hypothyroidism. If TSH more than seven, T4 lead to subjective and or objective improvement in memory, verbal influency, executive function, and intention noted. Thank you.